Guys, Richard Blaine here. Thanks for stopping by my easy cooking channel tonight. Tonight I'm going to make another Southeast Asian dish. I'm not going to make Vietnamese. I'm not going to make Thai. I'm going to make Cambodian because I've never made Cambodian food. And I was looking for something simple yet spicy and delicious that represents good quality Khmer food. Khmer being the Khmer people of Cambodia. And I came across a dish called Um Kep Char Chine. Now please Please, I know every time I do Southeast Asian food or Asian food of any kind, I get ragged on by a lot of people, although it smiles and winks that my accent, my dialect is terrible. I can't help it. I don't speak Cambodian, I don't speak Khmer, I don't speak Vietnamese, I don't speak Thai. I can barely speak English. So the closest I can get is Um Kep Char Chine, okay, which is usually frog legs in ginger sauce. Now, in the past, the poor people of the Khmer region would make the dish with the frog legs and the more well-to-do would make it with chicken. Tonight I decided to make it with chicken because in my neck of the woods chicken is easier to come by rather than frog legs whereas in the Khmer region frog legs is easier to come by than chicken. It goes both ways but both ways is delicious. Chicken or frog legs is really delicious. It's in a nice spicy gingery sauce with garlic, mm -hmm, chilies if you want and it's very simple to make. You're going to make some caramel and we're going to get going. So as usual with YouTube, unlimited minutes. Let's get going. I'll see you on the other side. The first order of business to make um kept char chine is to brown the chicken. Now in the traditional recipe, they don't do this. They cook the chicken in with the sauce, but I'm going to be using chicken thighs here in a little bit of oil. Okay. I just want to brown the skin up a little bit, make it crispy. Okay, I've trimmed all the excess fat from the thighs. Thighs are just so delicious. Okay. Thighs are just so delicious. Okay, there we go. About six thighs, and I'm just going to brown up the skin. Okay, I'm not going to cook these thighs all the way through. I'm going to brown it up on a medium, medium high, and then they'll cook the rest of the way through in the sauce. So, mission accomplished. Look at those thighs, okay? Nice and golden brown. Not charred, not burned, but the skin is nice and golden brown, which is going to offer a flavor layer. These thighs are about 50% through, and then they'll just cook up in the sauce as I simmer it for about half an hour, an hour, when we get to that point. So right now, I'm going to set these thighs aside, and we're going to make some ginger sauce. All right, at this step, the sugar sauce is done. Here it is. All right, it's dark brown. I don't know if you can see it, there you go. It's dark brown, okay? It looks like whiskey, it looks like Jack Daniels, okay? You wanna make sure it gets dark brown, but you don't want it to burn. It takes quite a long time to do it on low, but that's what you have to do. Okay, I said it's a caramel, and technically it is, but we're not adding butter to make a traditional caramel. This is going to be a ginger sauce. Now, on top of this nicely browned sugar sauce, I'm going to add a little bit of water. It's almost like a deglaze. Get some of that good stuff off the bottom. There we go. Just going to add it in slowly. There we go. Gets all the bits off the bottom and on the sides. All right. Set that over here for a second. There we go. Bits off the side. You do this step with the flame off. Okay. This will also get any crystallized sugar off the whisk. There we go. There we go. And we're only talking about adding about half a cup. And it loosens this sauce up again. But that's okay. Because once we get it into the chicken dish, it's going to thicken up again. So I got to get all those bits off the bottom. Okay. And get the crystallized stuff off the whisk. And then we're going to move on. All right, I have my skillet heating up with some cooking oil. I took out most of the chicken fat, but I left just the fond and a little bit of the chicken fat in there for flavor. And what I'm going to add in here, oh, there it goes, is my shallots, okay? You get the shallots in there. And I'm gonna saute them up really quick. Because we're on medium high heat, okay? Get that fond off of the spoon. All right, then I'm going to add a lot of ginger and garlic. 
okay, about a half a cup of finely minced ginger, and about four garlic cloves. So this is going to be a spicy dish, a gingery spicy dish, not a peppery spicy dish. It's going to have the heat from the ginger, the sweet from the sugar sauce, a little pungentness from the garlic, all good umami. It's going to have some salt in there. All right, I want to saute this up for about a minute or so. Okay, I want to get all the ingredients soft. And then I'm going to put the chicken back in there. Now, I'm going to add the chicken thighs back into the mix. There we go. This time, flesh side down. We're on medium high heat here. Okay, get those in there. Get them nice and stir through there. Make a little room. All right, and I'm going to cook this just like this for about. Whoops, I'm going to cook this just like this for about a minute, and then move on to the next step of seasoning this. Now, I'm going to add some finely, finely chopped minced lemongrass. Just another layer of flavor, another layer of aroma. Mm. That smells good already. And then to that, I'm going to add a little bit of fish sauce. Reduce the heat to medium. Here is some optional oyster sauce. I happen to like oyster sauce when I was experimenting with this, di with this dish. So I am adding some oyster sauce. About two tablespoons. I love oyster sauce. I'm not adding salt to this dish because there is enough salt. There we go. There's enough salt in the oyster sauce and in the fish sauce that I don't have to add any to this dish. All right, I've All let right. this simmer for about a minute, maybe two, and I'm going to add a little bit of optional white or black pepper. Usually you guys see me using flakes. I'm not using flakes. This isn't the supposed to be a spicy hot, but there's some savory white pepper. And I'm going to mix this in and then we'll move on. The last step in this dish is to add the caramelized sugar sauce. And that's what we're doing right now. There we go. There we go. Now, I'm going to mix this in, okay, I'm going to mix this in really good, and then I'm going to put the lid on, and I'm going to simmer this for about hmm, another 30 minutes, maybe 40, just depends. The sauce will thicken up, the chicken will sweat because I'm going to put the lid down. I'm cooking the underside of the chicken, and I'm going to do this on medium. Uh, the recipe usually calls for medium high. I'm just going to do it on medium, maybe even low medium. Let these flavors really marry. And I'll be back in about 30 minutes. Take a look at this dish, guys, okay? That caramel sauce is nice and brown, okay? Now the chicken is skin side down. I switched it over. We're rotating it, okay? And this sauce is going to thicken up a little bit. Now. If it happens to thicken up a little bit too much at your place, add a little bit of water or a little bit of chicken stock just to keep it fluid, about the consistency you see here now, because I have to add a little touch of stock. Okay, and then simmer it on low, and it's going to thicken up again, but it won't start to burn. I'll have to rotate it back on the flesh side one more time before we're done. But I wanted you to see the lovely brown color. It smells like ginger in here. It smells like sugar. It smells like pepper. Mm. It just smells lovely. It smells like caramel. Oh, shallots, garlic. I can't wait to eat this. I turned the chicken back over skin side up. I wanted you to see that browning the chicken skin prior to putting it in this recipe 
helps the skin to soak up the color of the sauce. It looks just lovely. Now, I've put it flesh side down because it needs to simmer for about another 15 to 20 minutes to become fully cooked and tender. And then I'm going to plate up. So I'll see you guys in a while. There it is, guys. Umkep Char Chenet, okay? Cambodian chicken in ginger sauce, okay? The sauce is reduced, okay? The sauce is reduced. It's nice and thick, okay? The sugar is concentrated again. There's sweet, there's heat, there's just good salty umami, okay? Right now, I'm gonna plate up and then I'm gonna have my dinner. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, guys, there it is. Umkep Charchene. Chicken in sugar and ginger sauce. A Cambodian dish that's sure to please. If you like spice and sweet and salt and pungent, then this is the dish for you. Served with rice and sauce spooned over. Usually it could be served in a bowl. It can be served really any way you want it. But this is a delicious dish and it's my dinner. I'm hungry. Time for me to go. Hey guys, Richard Blaine here. I want to thank you for stopping by my easy cooking kitchen tonight. Cambodian Khmer food, I'm kept charchene. I hope you make it. It's delicious. It's got just enough spice to keep you nice and warm on these cold winter days, depending on where you come from in this country. I want to thank you for stopping by, and I hope to see you on the next video. Take care.